According to a well-placed government insider, the Prime Minister is upset with Minister Bunting. It's also emerging this afternoon that it was the police who offered a cash payment to the robbers to return the stolen items and that two of the thieves were held at Folly Oval in Portland last Sunday morning shortly after five. George Davis has more on the emerging details. The bunting Sanson Villa drama is becoming clearer. A well-placed government insider told Nationwide News today that the Prime Minister is angry that her National Security Minister could have found himself in such an ugly situation which could seriously compromise his effectiveness. According to the government insider, Mr. Bunting was told in no uncertain manner that his boss was not happy about the entire affair. It's also now emerging that while the security minister desperately wanted to retrieve his stolen mobile phones and iPad tablet computer, he was not aware of the efforts to pay cash for their return by the police who were onto the robbers. According to the government insider who was involved in the tracking of the thieves and the return of the stolen items, Mr. Bunting was at the villa with two female companions while the drama shifted to the Folly Oval. That's about seven miles from the villa at San San. The minister's assigned security officer was staying elsewhere at a nearby hotel, the Jamaica Palace, also in Portland. According to the insider, the minister and his visiting friends from abroad were awoken by strange sounds at about 2 on Sunday morning. It's understood Minister Bunting went to investigate and surprised three men inside the villa. The men reportedly fled the property upon being spotted. They reportedly made their getaway having taken three mobile phones and an iPad among other items. The security minister is understood to have called police control which then alerted police personnel in eastern Portland. A party of approximately 20 policemen swooped down on the area but failed to find the men. It's understood the police then decided to call the stolen phones. The men responded and demanded 3,000 U.S. dollars for the return of the stolen items. According to the government insider, the robbers were told by the police investigators that the victims could not find 3,000 U.S. dollars at that hour on Sunday morning. They had only 300 U.S. dollars. They agreed to accept that amount on condition that the balance be handed over later in the day when business is opened. Folly Oval was agreed as the exchange point. By this time, it was approximately 5 o'clock Sunday morning. According to the insider, Minister Bunting was never a part of the arrangement to pay for the return of the stolen items. He and his female companions were still at the villa. It's understood a police party went to Folly Oval to set an ambush for the men. The plan was to nab them after the cash was handed over and the stolen items returned. However, the robbers got wind of the police ambush and fled just as the police were moving in. They were chased and two of the three held at Folly Oval on Sunday morning. The phones and iPad were recovered. According to the government insider, the fingerprints found on these stolen items matched those of the two men held at Folly Oval. In a statement this afternoon, the police said all of the stolen items were recovered and that the men in custody will be interviewed in the presence of their lawyers. According to the police, the men will be charged later.